Valley Orphanage has too many kids. What are we going to do with you three? Huh? Don't you want to be adopted? Well, then why don't you behave in a manner that prospective parents will find appealing? Mr. and Mrs. Syracuse can't decide on having their own. We can't start talking about having a family until we weigh the pros and cons. They need a plan with vision. We'll never know. Now, do you know how expensive these kids could be? They need a man with ideas. I want to go to Baby Gap and buy little overalls. What they need is Harry. The beauty of it is you haven't bought something if you don't like it that you can't take back. You've certainly given the rental business a great deal of thought. I've devoted my life to it, Mrs. Olson. I've been studying the entire orphanage operation, and I think solve your problem. Problem? What problem? I don't have a problem. Because you have no viable marketing plan. Are you ready? Rent a kid. Rent a what did he say? Kids. He said he rents kids. Cool. You rent live children? Are you insane? Take them home. Give them a try. Oh, no. All in rent condition. The rental period is for only 10 days. The kids gotten settled in okay? <laughs> God. How do they keep the gusts from falling to the floor? Oh, boy. Whoa! Now that's a gusher. Nuts! Ah! Race you to the elevators. Come on! I don't think our behaving plan's working too well. Did you ever turn those knobs on the stereo back down? Ah! Oops. Well, what a fine-looking family. Leslie Nielsen. Doki, 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 doki. Christopher Lloyd hey. in the comedy that offers a new lease on love. See that? Something nice happened to nice people. With an option to buy. We want to adopt them. All of them. Although technically, Mr. Syracuse, you did clearly decline the purchase option. Rent-A-Kid. I also rent uh, popcorn machines and weed whackers. Turner Pictures Worldwide Distribution presents The Flintstones, starring in Holly Rockabye Baby from Hanna Barbera. Pebbles and Bam Bam are all grown up, and they've got big news for Fred, Barney, Wilma, and Betty in this pre hysterical movie length video. Dad, Bammer and I have been doing great since we moved to Holly Rock. Besides my job transfer at the ad agency and Bam Bam working hard on his screenplay, we've been really busy. <laughs> <gasps> Why don't you and the Rebels come out to Holly Rock for the big event? But babies aren't the only things on Fred's mind. This is Holly Rock, where dreams come true. His dream is to mingle with the stars, and before long, he's Fred Flintstone, agent to the stars. I'm gonna sell Bam Bam's screenplay if it's the last thing I do. Of course it nearly is when Fred gets mixed up with the mob. Holly Rockabye Baby, the Flintstones' newest movie. This one's a comedy, a tearjerker, a life-transforming experience. It pulls at the heartstrings and the hamstrings. It's a guarantee hit. Coming soon to home video at all your favorite video shops. And showbiz. Jenny, Billy, if you're watching this tape, uh, I guess I'm dead. I'm sorry. Billy, you're my best friend in the world. And I, I want you to have my very favorite thing. Minnesota Twins. Man, when my grandpa died, all I got was a sweat. First of all, I'd just like to say this is really cool. You mean you own the team and the stadium? Can I borrow five bucks? I would like to announce that I've named myself the new manager of the Minnesota Twins. Go away. Really, it's not that easy. There's a lot to this game, a lot. You know how hard it is to manage? It's the American League. They got the DH. How hard could it be? I got to go over all this paperwork. Wow, you sound like my dad. Could I, like, have your autograph? Wow, show the whole What a babe. Mom, come on. The guys are watching. Nobody's watching. 
I'm not going to win anything with a kid for a manager. Now, why don't you go home and build yourself a fort or something? I know you guys think I'm a joke. Put me in there. I can throw strikes. Maybe I'm not the problem. Maybe the problem is you guys forgot how much fun this is. You're major leaguers. Don't you understand? You guys get to play baseball every day. What could be better? Castle Rock Entertainment is proud to present Little Big League. Baseball was made for kids. Just go out and play and have fun. I hate fun. And Tum Tum. We're the three ninjas. Get up, then. The three ninjas are back. Back on the trail. 50 years ago, I was just about your age. Of an ancient treasure. There was a legend about the dagger could open the door to a cave of gold. And these guys. I want the dagger in my hands tomorrow. Are right behind them. He's gone. That means that the cabin's empty. Rock and roll! You've heard of ingenuity, right? Well, this is ninjanuity. Come see us again! You have failed me! Take care of them! These guys were after the dagger. Wait, we gotta help Grandpa. Now, they're going to the land where the code of the ninjas began. You teach us ninja, and we'll teach you baseball. And the excitement. Where is the dagger? Never ends. Grandma! Uh, we should run. We should hide. Run! Hit them! Hit them! Yeah! It's time to kick back. <laughs> for an adventure like nothing you've ever seen. Under the rising sun. Come on! It's like a roller coaster. Ah! Let's light these fat boys up. Three ninjas kick back. Don't you just hate us? Let's get out of here while we're still standing. folks living this far out. Well, there aren't. They sleep. She lived here all alone, huh? Well, that's what hermits do, love. They live alone and they die alone. Is this for real? No electricity, no phone, no running water. The Lord led you here, stranger. Guard my Nell. Nell. Stay back! What the hell is it, Jerry? Put the gun on. Jerry, I can't let you go back in there. We don't even know what that thing is. It's a human being. It's his right. Don't be afraid. Ah! We haven't had a true wild child in this country for 60 years. She's not a wild child. This woman speaks an unknown language? It's like there's no one else in the world. Can she survive on her own? I don't know. Well, all right, suppose she cannot. Who's gonna look after her? If she's ever gonna leave that cabin, she's gonna need skills she doesn't presently How do you possess? know she wants to leave? Did you ask her? There isn't anybody who speaks her language. Then I guess somebody's gonna have to learn. 